the offensive output. They're averaging over 460 yards a game, 33 points per contest. Delta O'Neill hammers, fumbles the football. It is recovered by Oregon. Kenny Wheat. Now this is going to be it. I'm not sure they're going to give Oregon the ball here. It looked like the recovery took place out of bounds. Well, Delta O'Neill. Isolation call, he bounces, his out, bounces it outside, gives up the football, and Wheaton does have possession inbounds. That's a good call. Check a Kenny's height out, though. Where is his right foot when he recovers? I don't think his right foot is out of bounds when he, he has control with okay. the left foot inbounds. That's a great call by the officials, and what a huge turnover. Peter Sermon with the strip. California has now turned it over four times in this game. And Oregon running Latimer well to the five-yard line. This kid has been tough. Well, there's the All-American, Kenny Wheaton from Phoenix, Arizona. His coach, Mike Bellotti, said he has a huge heart. Played last year with a disc problem. Also, his bicep was ripped up, but he played through it. And Sermon with the hit. You have to give credit to Peter Sermon for shaking the ball loose. Delta O'Neill, second turnover. He's had a great game, but turnovers may end up being the deciding factor in this game. Let's go down on the field to Larry Burnett. Kenny Wheaton had that big fumble recovery, and this is a man who is a junior, but says he will analyze the draft at the end of the season, and if he's projected to be a first-round pick, he's probably going to go, unless his brother Derek comes to Oregon. He's got to take his ACT, SAT over again in December. If he comes to Oregon, Kenny says he's going to come back because it's been a dream of his to play with his brother. Doesn't care if he's a first-round pick or not, and he says Derek has the potential to be the best defensive back in the Pac-10, and that's pretty good. Guys? Wouldn't that be something if Kenny's little brother was the opposite corner because Lamont Woods will be graduating. They could have the senior Wheaton on one side and the freshman Wheaton on the other. That was a defensive coach's dream at the cornerback position for Oregon last year. Kenny Wheaton on one side and first team All-American Alex Molden on the other side. Now that's scary if you're a wide receiver going up against that duo. 